but there will come a time when you will need to quit lucid dreaming. When you will not be able to do this anymore. And there's a very good reason for that. One of the main downsides of lucid dreaming is that if you do it too much, you end up becoming so connected with that world, with, that, with the dream world, that you sort of lose, lose touch of reality and you sort of don't focus as much on your goals in real life. I've spoken to a lot of lucid dreamers, you know, especially online, who find that they're so engaged with the lucid dream that they just don't want to do anything in real life. You know, I'm getting emails from people saying, I've just I've given up on like my personal relationships and friendships because I just want to be in this world all the time where I can do what I want. Now, I, in a way, I do get that because it is quite enticing and it is very fun and entertaining. But at the same time, you must balance the two things. And if you're ever getting to a point where you're so engaged with lucid dreaming that you just don't want to do anything else, you should really think about stopping. And I've never reached this point myself personally, but I have spoken to people who have. And it can be kind of, you know, worrying to hear that because real life is so full of adventures and things that you could be doing. There's so many things you could try and experience, but if you don't do that because you'd rather be like sleeping and dreaming, then you're missing out on, you're missing a trick, you know, you're missing out on the main point here, which is that lucid dreaming should add to your life and not just substitute your real life for a dream life. That's not what you're aiming to do here. What you're aiming to do is to make sure that you have a really fun, like real life, and also a supplemented fun lucid dream life in which you can do other things that you couldn't do in real life. So, like I said before, you're aiming to do incredible things in both scenarios. You're not aiming to just do one thing. And you should definitely not make your life about trying to enhance lucid dreams only, because you're missing the point. It should be adding to your real life as well as making your dream life better. So if you get to this point, I think you should stop lucid dreaming. And not, maybe not stop permanently, but just stop long enough to focus on your actual goals and realizing your ideal life in reality. Now, I know there's gonna be people who will say, well, who's to say that lucid dreaming isn't less real than waking life? And I get that, you know, it's in a, it's in a sort of very spiritual and uh, open-minded way. Yes, it can be identified and experienced as real, when you're in a dream, but that's not to say that it's more important than this reality. So I wouldn't focus just on dreams. I would focus on both at the same time. And if you find that you're getting too attached to the dream world, then just step back a bit and take a couple of weeks break. You don't have to do this every day and you certainly don't have to try and do it every night because the chances are that, especially if you're new to this or if you're experienced, I mean, this channel's getting a mixed uh, variety of people here you know some of you guys can lucid dream regularly and some of you are struggling or you just you're interested in it or whatever the case is it doesn't matter if you're getting too attached to the lucid dream to the point where you're neglecting your real life goals and ambitions and everything like that you need to step back and you know obviously you don't have to do this this is just my opinion this is my advice okay but from experience i know that it can lead to you being focused too much on the dream and not enough on real life. I think Koi Fresco's made a video recently saying that he's stopped lucid dreaming because it's just not doing what it used to do for him or something like that, I, I might be wrong. But my point is, even experienced lucid dreamers sometimes stop lucid dreaming just because they're getting too involved and engaged with the dream. It shouldn't be your main focus. In fact, it should be like a, a bonus to your already uh, inspiring and happy, fulfilling life. It's the same thing with going to the gym. Going to the gym and exercising should be a part of your life. It shouldn't be your whole life, unless you obviously want to do that for your life. Like you want to compete or you want to be a bodybuilder or you know, a strong man, powerlifter. But for most of us, it will just be a small part of our life. Like you'll go to the gym maybe three times a week, you'll exercise, but then you'll come back and you'll work on your actual life, your actual goals and your, you know, normal thing that you spend most of your time on. Lucid dreaming should be like that. It should be a part of our lives, like going to the gym, like maybe two or three times a week, we have a lucid dream and then we wake up and then we write it down. But then you go back to your normal life and you carry on doing the things that you want to do for the most amount of time in your life. Now, don't take this video as me saying to stop lucid dreaming completely. And I really would hate to think that this would sort of sap any motivation that you might have, because it is incredible, you should, you should want to learn it, and it should form a part of your daily routine. I'm just saying that it shouldn't form your entire day. So if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and subscribe, it will really mean a lot to me. I appreciate the 
new subscribers that are here and also go and check out my other channel transcend your limits because i'm doing daily vlogs there as well so i'll see you next time Done.